Hi friends, myself Jayapriya. Today I am going to share about importance and benefit of Gomiti Chakra. And this video is part 1. Before that, please subscribe to my channel and do click on bell icon so that you never miss any updates. Before I proceed, I want to tell you something that so many people had commented on my pronunciation. I request everyone to see the concept or topic in it rather than commenting unnecessary stuff for those genius people. I want to say I have already clearly mentioned everything in written statement. If I am wrong anywhere, sorry for that. Kindly correct it by yourself. Okay. I will tell you the topics I am going to share in this video. So the first topic is what is Gomati Chakra? Second is importance and benefits of Gomati Chakra. And third is how to energize the Gomati Chakra to get complete blessing of Goddess Mahalakshmi. This topic I will share in the part 2 of this video. So let's start with what is Gomati Chakra. Gomati Chakra is a rare natural and spiritual shell stone. The word Gomati refers to the river where it is found and whereas the chakra means in Sanskrit is wheel. Gomati Chakra is also known as Sudarshan Chakra as it resembles the divine weapon of Lord Krishna. It is also known as cat's eye shell or Nag Chakra or cow's eye shell. One side of the Gomati Chakra is elevated like a shell while the other side is flat with a circular design which look like a snake. This is the reason why it is also known as Nag Chakra or that is Snake Chakra. According to the Vedic astrology, it is beneficial in cases of people who have Nag Dosha or Sarpa Dosha in their horoscope. Gomati Chakra is considered sacred by Hindus because it brings good luck, wealth, health and success. It is used specially in spiritual and tantric rituals. Gomati Chakra also gives protection to children and people facing health issues. It is said that Gomati Chakra look like the Hindi digit number 7 as you can see in the picture. Okay, And as we know the number 7 represent Rahu. As we find Gomati Chakra in water, so people who is suffering from Rahu or Chandrama issue in their horoscope, they can wear Gomati Chakra in silver as a ring or as a pendant to remove the ill effect of Rahu Dosha in their horoscope. But that you have to wear after energizing it properly at a special occasion. Okay, Special occasion such as Navratri, Holi, Diwali or any special holy day you can perform its puja and you can wear it. You can also place Gomati Chakra tree to attract wealth and good luck in home or a workplace. Now I will tell you the benefits and simple way to use it and get a 100% benefit out of it. Okay, So first method is keep 11 or 21 or 1 or 8 Gomati Chakra in a water in a bowl to bring good luck in home or a workplace but you have to remember that daily you have to change the water you can keep this in puja room or in a entrance second is if anybody is awaiting for the judgment related legal matter then keep or always carry the Gomati Chakra equivalent to your birth number to get a favorable judgment related to legal matter. And the third method is if someone facing ghost or an evil effect then that person has to take two Gomati Chakra and move over their head upon seven times and then burn it to get immediate relief or take three Gomati Chakra and move over their head upon seven times and throw them off their back and don't turn back before entering home wash your feet hand and face then enter the home and the fourth method is if you want to finish enmity from your friend or anyone then take your enemy foot mud and tie in a red cloth along with one gomati chakra and pray with pure heart to remove all your enmity or negative thoughts towards that person then you have to throw that in a moving water then slowly you can feel the difference the fifth point is to get blessing of goddess lakshmi take three or seven gomati chakra keep in a silver plate and energize it with a sindur or a kumkum chanting the mantra in the second part of this video i will teach you the simple way to energize the gomati chakra 
After energizing three or seven Gomati chakra, wrap in a red cloth and tie it and then keep inside a locker or a cash box for financial growth. The sixth point is if a person suffering from a disease or always falls sick, that person has to perform this simple procedure on Shukla Paksha. You have to take four Gomati chakra and rotate clockwise overhead seven times and throw the four Gomati chakra in four direction. Or if you can't do this, I will give you one more simple method. You can tie one Gomati chakra either side or corner of the bed or underneath the bed or pillow. Then slowly the person will be healed. And the seventh method is it helps to remove the Vastu dosha. You have to take 11 Gomati Chakra should be buried in the foundation of the building to bless the residents with long life and prosperity and remove the Vastu Dosha caused in southeast direction. Eighth method is for job and promotion offer one Gomati Chakra but you have to energize it with mantra first then offer to Shivling in any temple and then pray to fulfilling your dream. There are so many benefits I have tried to cover as much as I can. For tarot card reading, you can book your appointment by call or email. All other details are given in the description below the video. Kindly go through it. Hope you like my video. Best wishes from Jay Kumar and Jay Priya. Do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon so that you never miss any updates. Like, share and comment. In comment section, you can also share your personal spiritual experience if any of my video helped you so that other people can get benefit out of it. If you have any doubt or suggestion regarding this video, do comment in the below section. May this Gomati Chakra bring good luck in your home or a workplace and remove all the evil effect from your life. You can mail me at spiritualityfromsoul at gmail.com. The appointment timing is given in the video. You can go through it. Thanks for watching.